Hi, I'm Erin Marr, and the first section of this learning module that we will look at is what is anxiety. The literature defines anxiety as a feeling of worry or unease. Anxiety impacts our thoughts, behaviors, emotions, and how we are feeling physically. Anxiety is normal and part of development and something that all people experience regardless of age. Anxiety is an area of concern when it is presented at a level that interferes with a child or young person's everyday activities and their adaptation. What does anxiety look like? We see signs of anxiety in children and young people in the way they express themselves behaviorally and emotionally. Their thoughts about themselves, others, and circumstances, as well as how they are feeling physically, may signal signs of anxiety. Some examples of what anxiety can look like include frequent bouts of tears, becoming easily frustrated, fear of new situations, physical complaints that are not attributed to health concerns, excessive worrying about homework or grades, frequent absence, refusal to join school activities, often spending time alone, having few friends or finding it very difficult to make friends, and declining grades or unable to work to expectations. Anxiety is a normal part of development. Both adults and children experience anxiety. When we meet new people or are faced with new situations, we all may experience a level of anxiety. In many instances, experiencing a heightened level of concern helps us take action and problem solve a situation so we can cope more effectively. On the other hand, when anxiety becomes more intense over longer periods of time, and when it interferes with our daily routines and relationships, anxiety becomes more of a concern for children, families, and educators. In the next section, we are going to consider what anxiety looks like in the classroom and the role of teachers in helping students.